honest intention equals or approximately equals making a two to five minute video where I'm reading a part of Top Reese's business plan. So I'm going to start it with a joke and I'm going to end it with a joke. Helium walks into a, a vegan juice bar and asks for a glass of kale juice, carrot juice, or beetroot juice. And the barista at the vegan juice bar says, I'm so sorry to helium. Um, we don't serve no bowl gases here. And helium is like, <laughs> it just doesn't even react. <laughs> so I'm doing personal finances this morning and I want to, um, I want to just take a second and thank my older brother for lending my family and I, uh, $75 to cover the gap. So I don't have to eat top ramen at the end of this month or go without the electrolyte magnesium. And not just saying thank you, because my father and I and senior taught me like, don't just say thank you or don't just say sorry. Really try to change something a little bit. So I told, I promised my older brother I would start doing finances once every week so that hopefully I won't have to borrow a little bit of money from him in the future. Because it's my scenario is very similar to somebody who goes to a payday loan shop or a check cashing shop and it's just it is what it is and it's not really that positive it's more like yellow alert you know i need to be i may be worth three million dollars on paper but the fact that i'm borrowing 75 dollars from my older brother at the end of the month so i don't eat top ramen is a little bit of yellow alert as my family's role model family the Tysons and Youngs, the Miranda, Neil, Alice, and Travis, uh, Sohi, Suhan, Sakang, and myself in the United States of America, Emmy Awards. Um, so I said two to five minutes, and I'm ending the son of a joke too. Let me read this. Um, whether, let me try to get this video slightly more clear. My hand's shaking a little bit, a little bit nervous. We got force equals mass times acceleration. The force of something on the surface of the Earth's crust at sea level, very similar to, let's go into that later. So in writing this passage here, I'm trying to make my writing more palatable. So I don't want to blame anybody and I do not want to conjure up another conspiracy theory. I think there are already enough conspiracy theories in the world. So in the spirit of what my mother and father have taught me, my mentors and my older brother, basically try to write something that is much more palatable and easier to um, accept and celebrate and appreciate than something that's like, hey, I'm going to start pointing fingers at more people or I'm going to start creating more conspiracy theories. So this is my attempt to cherish and respect my mother and father and my older siblings and build off of their wisdom to the best of my ability. So my honest intention is to end this video in one and a half minutes or less, tell another joke at the end that I already have in mind, and post this on YouTube. Um, whether it was lost in the burning down of the Library of Alexandria in Egypt, tossed into one of the fires during the Nazi book burnings or is the or is the basis of the nuclear trade secrets theoretical framework itself as it relates to Stephen Hawking's TOE 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 noun verb other theory of everything theory of energy theory of epidemiology theory of evolution theory of emergence or Einstein's uncompleted grand unified field theory 1955 before he saw be, he died before the emergence of the second orbital body around earth sputnik the earth emerged out of itself a second moon it's one way of wording it pretty accurate biological t systems tend to be self-organizing and organization another two words for that are symmetry and coordination I, we may never know. In the social framework context of cherishing, celebrating, and protecting scientists, science, 
and the scientific process method. And um, I have a choice right this second in terms of keeping my initial intention in mind to continue to ramble on and forget about my intention or promise you that I'll talk more about this later and wrap this up with a joke. So why can't we, as non-scientists and scientists, why cannot, why can't we trust atoms? Because they make up everything, to the best of our knowledge. Trade her out.